This video is follow-up to my previous video about controlling an LED dot matrix from an Android device using an ESP32. This setup is intended to be installed on the rear window of a car to convey information to the driver behind. In this video, I am using a blue dot matrix and relays to trigger brake on, and reverse signals. To install this setup on the rear window of the car, I need a casing to house the dot matrix and the ESP32. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the casing design I created to make it easier to install the dot matrix and ESP32 on the rear window of the car. The material I used is 3D printed PLA. Additionally, we need suction cups to attach it to the rear window. These are the components ready for assembly, including the casing made using a 3D printer. First, ensure that the connections from the dot matrix to the ESP and relay are properly made. Next, these are the casing components, consisting of several parts, the section for mounting the dot matrix, which has two parts, the section for mounting the ESP and relay, and the cover to close the casing. I will connect the section using small bolts. This is the part for mounting the suction cups, which will be attached to the casing. With these suction cups, we can affix the casing to the car window. We'll also need a few small bolts to assemble all the parts. This is the condition after assembling the casing and properly installing the dot matrix and ESP32. Make sure each connection between sections is secure with the small bolts. The next step is to attach the suction cups at several points to ensure the casing sticks well to the window. This is the condition after all the parts have been assembled. You can adjust the position of the suction cups according to the distance between the window and the dot matrix. Since car windows are not perfectly flat and are slightly curved, you'll need to adjust the suction cup distances accordingly. For this test, I am using a 12 volts power supply because the car uses a 12 volt battery. The relay I am using is also a 12 volts relay, so during installation in the car, you just need to connect the 12 volts and ground wires, as well as the trigger wire from the brake light for the brake signal and the reverse light for the reverse signal. Since I am using an ESP32 that can accept 12 volts power through the DC and port, there is no need for a step-down converter to lower the voltage. In this test, I am using buttons as substitutes for the brake and reverse signals. When the relay triggers the brake on, the dot matrix will display the message brake on, indicating that the brake is being applied. Similarly, when the reverse trigger is activated, the dot matrix will display the message reverse, indicating that the car is in reverse gear. In addition to displaying information based on the brake and reverse gear triggers, we can also change the display text from an Android app via Bluetooth communication. When a message is sent, the display on the dot matrix will change. Besides selecting predefined messages to send, we can also use speech-to-text for easier message transmission. This is the condition of the dot matrix installation on the car window. Make sure the suction cups are firmly attached to the glass. If the distance between the suction cups and the window is too far due to the curvature of the glass, you can adjust the position of the suction cups accordingly. In conclusion, this setup allows us to effectively communicate with drivers behind us using a blue dot matrix display controlled by an ESP32. By utilizing 12 volts power directly from the car, we simplify the installation process. The display can show important signals such as brake on and reverse based on the relay triggers, and we can also change the display text via a Bluetooth connected Android app. The custom-designed 3D printed casing and adjustable suction cups ensure a secure and adaptable fit to the car's rear window. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. 
See you in the next video.